Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Game Set Live. Today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be talking a little bit about Assassin's Creed 5, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, and actually the entire scope of Assassin's Creed and where, personally, where I think they're going to be going or, or talking a little about what's been happening because I've played all of the Assassin's Creed except uh, Revelation, so I think I'm pretty qualified to talk about it. I mean, I'm not like a guru but I think I'm pretty qualified to talk about it and about where they're going I just ask and some questions to think about going into Assassin's Creed 5 and as you've already seen by now while I'm going to be talking about this we're gonna have some Assassin's Creed 1 going in the background so you know what what better way to talk about Assassin's Creed 5 than having the original Assassin's Creed in the background sweet all right so let's start at the beginning first of all if you have not played any of the Assassin's Creed's Press pause on this video, keep the tab open, but press pause on this video, go play them all, and then come back and watch this, and it'll like make a lot more sense, and plus there's going to be a lot of spoiler, spoiler alerts, just so you know. Alright, now I got that out of the way, let's start talking about it. Alright, so, Assassin's Creed has the best campaign of any video game in the, wor in, uh, in the world, I guess you, if you want to say that. Uh, but, no one plays Battlefield for the campaign... A few people, but not many, play Call of Duty for the campaign. They all play it for the multiplayer. So that's why it makes Assassin's Creed so much more important to talk about because their their campaign has a lot of structure. And that's one thing, um, at the beginning of every Assassin's Creed game, it says this was made by cultural people with lots of beliefs, etc. That's what makes Assassin's Creed so amazing. So let's start talking about it. All right. We have... Let's see, in the campaign so far, Desmond is dead. Uh, they didn't really talk a lot about him in 4, which I was a little concerned about. You can get uh, those vo video files from other computers, but, I mean, no one's really going to listen to those. At least I didn't. So, I, I got them all, but I didn't listen to them. So, I would like to see where they're going to explain a little bit more of Desmond. What, what, uh, oops. Where is he right now? You know, what's he doing? He's, I don't know if they're going to, like, play, oh, his spirit somewhere or whatever. But I think they need to share a little bit more of where Desmond is and what happened to him. Why did that happen? And explain sort of a little bit more of that. Also, where is Desmond's dad? Because he sort of just disappeared. We didn't see him in 4 at all. At least I didn't see him in 4. We saw Sean and Rebecca. Sean was at the coffee shop and Rebecca was just randomly walking around. You actually see her in the very beginning uh, when you're in Abstergo walking through. You see her wearing like a uh, black and orange runner's outfit or whatever so they're there and you they have a major cutscene and there people are uh, stereo is looking for him so i would like to see some more of where sean and rebecca are going and explain a little a little bit more of their story why are they still hanging around why haven't they run for the hills to hide and next who uh, who are you in assassin's creed 4 when you're not in the animus because you're, you're this random person. I don't know if they were going for the effect of, okay, it's you, m like me, John, I'm the guy that's walking around. Or if you're actually someone like Desmond or whatnot. So those are some other things. Uh, and maybe explaining more of what's happening with Juno and the other chick. What's her name? You guys know her name. Uh, Minerva. Yeah, Minerva. Explain what, where are they? Because uh, uh, who we'll talk about next... Uh, John, the mysterious John from IT, which you saw, uh, he sort of talks about how he was in love with Juno, something like that he was expected to see Juno. And that didn't happen because he sort of got shot. But explaining some, some more of what's happening with the gods, uh, Minerva, Juno, you know, where, where are they in this, this uh, Assassin's Creed 4, where are they going to be in 5, etc. And then last of all, as far as the people... What, what about John? You know, he... I I was thinking, you know, remember, the, if you remember the sage from Assassin's Creed 4, Bartholomew Roberts or whatever, him and John from IT are the same same guy, like the same lineage dude. So, you know, link those together, maybe explain something there so we know what's going on. And lastly, as far as... Excuse me. As far as Assassin's Creed 4 goes, why are we jumping from... Desmond, we're in a cave, etc. Why are we jumping from there straight to Abstergo without making a real link? You know, we're not even really sure what time period we're at as far as, you know, Desmond just got killed 
and then we jump to uh, Abstergo with Rebecca, Sean running around. What? Where's the connection? Maybe make a connection there. Because honestly, in five, they haven't shown any. They've only shown in Paris of you know walking around and stuff. They never really showed you, which they're probably not going to show you until you get the game. What's happening outside of the Animus? So I'll, that'll be super exciting to see what's going to be happening there. All right, and now the second main thing that's not really the campaign, but really connecting all of the Assassin's Creeds together. Uh, working, you know, we're, we've come all the way from Altair. We've gone to uh, the Kenways. Oh, and another thing is maybe connecting the Kenways uh, because we had Connor, Haytham, and now we've all got we've gone all the way back to Edward with the prequel. So you know maybe connecting those and uh, connecting all the Assassin's Creed together. So we've had the overarching story of Abstergo's trying to get all. The, they first tried to get the piece of Eden, then they're trying to get the little amulet to get into that bridge, which connected to the altar or whatever that Desmond got killed at because he touched it. So you know maybe sort of connecting those because honestly uh people i i've talked to my friends about it you know i said oh i wish they would keep uh, keep on making more and more Assassin's creed and when one of my friends was like oh that could turn into a call of duty because you know they have like 17 billion call of duties and it's the same storyline every time but as long as assassin's creed as long as they keep building eventually you know they're gonna have to come to an end so i'd like to see what's gonna happen with that uh if they're gonna ever end or <laughs> just keep going on and on and another major thing of which which came to light majorly throughout let's see when did it come out a few weeks ago a month ago which was Watch Dogs another Ubisoft game and those and Assassin's Creed are majorly connected you know just by the style of gameplay uh, like Watch Dogs why am I blanking on his name Aiden you know he has a mask he has a hat he has like the same style cloak or jacket whatever you want to call it and he hacks things I was actually thinking about it the other day with uh, with the hacking stuff and in four if you played it you know you can hack the computers which is what I sort of alluded to earlier you can hack into the computers and that's that's just like screaming watchdogs you know you hack everything in watchdogs so that that right there is a connection and also another major connection that I saw on YouTube I didn't actually go to the place in, in AC4 but Abstergo, their security was actually done by Bloom, which is the main, uh, Bloom and the CTOS, which was the main thing in, the main, main thing in Watch Dogs, which with Bloom security, everyone's with Bloom. So, we, we know for a fact that Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs are in the same universe, if you want to call it that. They're in the same place, so I think eventually down the road, Either Assassin's Creed is going to be taken over by Watch Dogs or Watch Dogs, or they're just going to sort of merge together, uh, connect the dots eventually down the line. So I, personally, I've, you know, I've talked with uh, people about this. I think Watch Dogs is just the beginning of that style of gameplay for Ubisoft. Because, you know, Rockstar has GTA. It's just madness, whatever, do drugs, etc. But Ubisoft, their stories generally have real storylines with an actual purpose instead of crack and drugs so I, that's why i like ubisoft a little bit better uh, and connecting watchdogs with assassin's creed is gonna be important down the line not yet down the line with watchdogs 2 3 assassin's creed 8 9 etc uh let's see what else so yeah uh in assassin's creed 4 you can find files that talk about ctos and having a uh, network security that connects everything together and you can find everyone and I saw, I looked online of people finding those and scrolling through them, and you could see it, read all about it. Um, oh, and another thing that I just remembered from Assassin's Creed 4 is explaining where Olivier is, which is the French dude who's, I don't know if he's like the head or something in Exergo. But sort of explaining where he went, because he sort of got abducted, and no one really knows who he, where he is. We know, we know from from looking at the cameras that they've been in some shady business. Maybe expla explaining sort of that, you know, developing that some more. All right, we've covered a lot and a lot of where I think they should go. You know, some things they should explain. Maybe not in Assassin's Creed Five. Maybe down the line. Oh, and another thing, I just keep popping random things in my head. Assassin's Creed Unity. They're calling it Unity. Um, they're talking about the French Revolution. Maybe they could be talking about uniting the French Revolution. Or, a better thing, they could be talking about uniting Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed. Maybe not yet. Maybe they're making a Unity 2, I don't know. 
but that's just a little bit of what I thought Assassin's Creed is going for, or where they are now, where they're gonna go later. So if you have anything, I hope you are like I hope you, I hope you've enjoyed the Assassin's Creed one playthrough gameplay that I've been going on in the background. I I'm just sitting here in my room. I'm not watching right now. I still have to record that actually. Um, so yeah, this is a little bit, a little bit about Assassin's Creed Five, Watch Dogs. You know, Ubisoft connecting everything together. If if you think I missed something, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Tell me something that maybe you thought I missed, or something that Ubisoft is gonna maybe connect the dots on. Because you know, we don't know what they're thinking, but we can think on our own. All right, that's all we got for today. About uh, 11 or so minutes of good stuff to chew on. Thanks for watching. Like I said, uh, like this video. And like I said before, if you have anything that you feel like would be helpful to add, feel free to comment. And I'll, I'll come back, you know, maybe start a little discussion. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and the Assassin's Creed 1 gameplay. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep it live. Thank you.